Welcome to my YouTube channel and the first episode in my devlog series where I will share my journey to becoming a full-time indie developer, which is my ultimate goal. And the app that I'm currently working on with a friend of mine who does all the design and I do the development is called Happen. It was created as a basically a fun way to track your life events but then it turned out to be much more than that. And we're right now rebuilding, well, not technically rebuilding, we're working on a major update for Happen that is gonna make it much more valuable and add some real value besides the fun. Uh, eventually, it's an app that lets you track your life events or to be more precise, how much time left or passed since concrete events. For example, let's say you finish school someday and you can add an event, I finished school. And it's just gonna tell you how long passed since then. It's, it helps you kind of take a look at your life in retrospect and figure out what happened with you. And when you look at the events in a particular order, then you realize how important they are actually so yeah let's let's dive a little deeper into happen we launched it on product hunt four months ago but the app was ready even before that however we didn't have the time and the commitment to release it but we finally did and now we are working on a new version which is gonna be awesome I hope and this is a journey about the new version and I'm hoping to share as much progress as possible so let's take a look at the product hunt some download statistics and wrap up for now and we'll also take a look at some future plans so as I said earlier so as I said earlier we launched four months ago on product hunt it wasn't like awesome but we were ranked 19th of the day which is i guess fine it's not top one or whatever but it's perfectly fine and we got some of our first users who are not our friends because it was already popular in my friends group and my network generally because i found it useful and other people found it useful and we decided to finally launch our product hunt, which we did. Uh, it got 82 upvotes and 33 comments. And if you take a look at the comments, uh, people really love it. Like, this is cool. And immediately, I immediately want to try it, uh, etc. Everyone is saying they love it. And it's really awesome. Some of these users are my friends, to be precise, like four or five of them. But even then, there are lots of people who I don't personally know, but they like the product and it's kind of heartwarming and very motivating. So we launched on Product Hunt and it was fine. Then, yeah, this is the App Store page. If you want to download, I'll leave the links to the app in the description of the video. Uh, I also built some other apps, but they are not going to be covered just yet, maybe sometime in the future. So if we take a look at the App Store page, uh, we had 5000 impressions, it's 5500. And we had like, almost a 1000 product page views, and total downloads of 328, which is actually great. And the fun thing about that, I don't know where I went, Yo. Yeah, the fun thing about that is actually 5% is iPad users and there are 10 users who use it on desktop. I have it on desktop as far as I remember. Yeah, I do have it on my desktop via the ARM simulation on M1 MacBooks and also M2. It wasn't built for the desktop initially and it will never be, I think. Uh, maybe if it's something that is requested, we can figure that out. 
it's not very hard. Yeah, and on the Google Play side, uh, I have some statistics that I don't really understand how this work. I filtered by new device acquisitions and I'm not sure if these numbers are new installs. Yeah, I guess they are. So as you may notice from the diagram, we don't really get too much new downloads, but we still get some, which is nice because we did no marketing. All the don downloads we have are just other people showing their friends, etc., and the product count itself. Uh, our App Store description, or as others call it, App Store optimization actually sucks. It's pretty bad uh, because it's just the initial release of Happen. With Happen, you can track the time past things and left before your live events to keep things fun. You can choose beautiful gradients and emojis to describe your events visually. Obviously, it's not enough to get high ranked, to get ranked high. Oh, uh, but yeah, that was just, we just want to launch it because we never did. And here we are, we launched it. The last update was, where was the last? Yeah, the last update was a um, few months ago already, but we are working on it now and we will keep it updated. So let's take a look at our plans. Uh, yep. So we, we want to, right now when you press the event, let's say you have the event right here. These are your like event list. Whenever you press an event, you enter the edit event view, which is fine, but it's not really what we want to have. Uh, that's why we are working on creating this detailed event view, which is basically going to be a fancy screen, uh, a beautiful screen with, with your event, and you will be able to scroll between them, which is uh, kind of nice and is just a better way to visually navigate your events, like focus on one particular event. And maybe if you are just reviewing what you have done or what happened, you can just open one event and then you scroll and see all the others that are after or before that one. Uh, we still don't have the design finished. We need to add an edit button somewhere, but it's already work in progress and we're going to do that. The next thing we need to do is actually improve our current no events view because right now when you have like zero events, uh, there is just a button that says like create my first event. I can't show it unfortunately right now, but you can download it and see yourself. Hopefully I will also show some of the actual app in the next series because right now it was just easier for me to get started like this. And it was very important to just get started and the rest I will figure out how to do. Yeah. So another thing we need to do is add some kind of analytics. And that is actually a tricky one because I don't want to, I want the app to still be privacy friendly, but we also need to understand how our users use the app in order to figure out what are the features that work, what are the features that are frequently used so that we can optimize the experience, or maybe we just figure out, for example, we want to launch something and we just figure out that it's not really used. So yeah, we are trying to be user first, uh, even though the app was initially created just for ourselves. But yeah, we do have some users and we will try to grow it as, as much as possible, I guess. Uh, yeah, we, we won't really track um, information or data that is very sensitive. For example, uh, we are not going to track the actual dates of events because that's something we don't want to know 
and we are also not going to associate whatever we track with particular users so that the data is not personally identifiable. What we want is actually how you navigate the app in general, emojis uh, people use, and event names. Uh, we are thinking about how to make this work in a way that is privacy friendly and also helps us. And we still haven't done that yet, but we are on our way. Uh, yeah, I think this is it. Um, these are our plans for the next week or couple of weeks. I'll be working on integrating the analytics and some other stuff. In the future, we also want to add alternative icons, maybe for premium users. We don't really have premium yet, but it is something we consider having in the future and we will have it. Uh, it's very likely to happen, but we don't really want to limit the users with what they can do currently, but we just want to improve their experience, maybe add some pro features. Um, yeah, I guess that was it for the first episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you have anything to say, maybe you want to say hi, or you have any thoughts, just drop a comment or email me. You will be able to find my email on the account details. And thank you for watching once again. Peace and let's make it happen.